too? We just went through this. You're listening to For Real Radio with Bria, Julia, Kayla, and Michael on WHITradio.org, the sound of Hudson County Schools of Technology in North Bergen, New Jersey. All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to For Real Radio, a place for the truth. America, today I have a very important conversation I'd like to have with you. No, you it's don't. a little bit of a public service announcement. No. You ready? Yep. I want you to protect your rights from the racist <laughs> trolls of, wait, wait for this, of the Supreme Court. Yes, I said Whoa. it, the Supreme Court. What we're going to talk about today is Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act. Now, first of all, let's talk about that. The everyone that, well, let's talk about the Supreme Court a little bit. The United States Supreme Court consists of the Chief Justice of the United States and eight associate justices at its discretion and within certain guidelines established by Congress. The Supreme Court each year hears a limited number of cases that it is asked to decide upon. Those cases may begin in the federal or state courts, and they usually involve important questions about the Constitution or federal law. Yes. So we're going to talk about Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, which they just totally want to overturn. Let's talk about it, though. Section 5 of the Act requires that the United States Department of Justice, through an administrative procedure or a three-judge panel of the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, through a declaratory, uh, declaratory judgment action, pre-clear any attempt to change any voting qualification or prerequisite to voting or standard practice or procedure with respect to voting in any covered jurisdiction. So let's hmm. talk about this, because that's... Kayla, I'm sure to you, what do you think of that? Um, you got to break that down. Cause I have and no that's idea what exactly you just said. what we're going to do. So what Section 5 does is oh it geez. protects the voting rights of minorities, mm -hmm. racial minorities. Now, how does that do that, Michael? Okay. Well, what it does is the Act, the Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, lists a certain number of counties and states which must get preclearance or uh, you know, permission to change any part of the vo uh, of the voting rights code, if it uh, with regards to racial, uh, mm -hmm. you know, any 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 racial terms. Right. Well, they I I heard they had to bring their driver's license and all to vote. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Um, voter ID now is yeah. becoming more a uh, more of a wide set issue, and <coughs> and coincidentally. Mm -hmm. All these states that need to get pre-clearance before changing the voting rights code are Southern. Right. I don't know how uh, they ended up on the list. Did anyone remember the 50s and the 60s? But Which it makes, it puts, I think it puts a kind of pressure on people that to get a driver's license, many people may not have a driver's license. No. They may not have the proper credentials to vote. Uh, so what it does is it, it, it kind of uh, is a prejudice, uh, uh, alienation or separation of people, the haves and the have-nots. No, well, when it comes to, when, when we talk about voter ID, uh, we're just talking about more restrictions on, uh, right. on people's ability to vote. You know, some people, uh, I think it requires like five forms of identification. Which is ridiculous. Which is ridiculous yes. because I know you need your birth certificate or mm -hmm. something like that. And they mm -hmm. want a raised seal copy. Right. Now, the only way to get that, for, well, let's say you were born in Jersey and you moved to California. The only way you get that is if you get that copy uh, mailed from Jersey all the way to California. You know, people just mm -hmm. don't have... Five forms of identification. Five forms mm -hmm. of identification. They're lucky if they have one or two. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, with it, this so it penalizes... It really penalizes the poor. Right. It does. Right. And, and it's a, a form of bias, and it's a form of uh, preventing a, a vote from the poor people. Right, when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. uh, voter ID. But when we yeah. talk about um, Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, all it does is it protects minorities which to, to their right to vote. It's in the Constitution. Right. So what this does was uh, Johnson, you, know, you guys know, President Lyndon, former President uh, Lyndon Johnson, signed this into, uh, into place shortly after the, the Selma incident in, right. uh, in Alabama, right, uh, they, where they marched and they were uh, 
brutalized, brutalized. So Lyndon Johnson uh, put this into uh, in intact, and what it does is it just reinforces what it states in the Constitution, that no matter what race you are, you know, your color we're talking about, you have the right to vote, and no one can take that away from you. Now, according to Justice Scalia, you know, he's a, he's a chief, chief justice, uh, this is, and I quote, the, perp um, <clears throat> the perputation of a racial entitlement. Now, I don't know about you guys, but is the right to vote a racial entitlement? I, I, I certainly, uh, certainly don't think so. What do you think, Kayla? Is the right to vote a racial entitlement? I don't think so. Why not? Justice Scalia <laughs> does. Kayla really uh, uh, has uh, limited knowledge of this, uh, right, yeah, Kayla? No, very but, limited. But, but Kayla, <coughs> let, let's let's talk, okay? Let's okay. L right now, you and me, let's talk. Yeah. You don't need to know much about this, right? No. You know we live in America. Yeah. One of the basic rights of a citizen is the right to vote. Yeah. Should that be taken <laughs> away? To, you know, it's because you're a different color. No, that should not. That's all it is. Yeah. But we have a justice <laughs> and and a half, half of the uh, the, uh, the nine justices we have think it should be. Well, that's they, wrong. It's they think wrong. it's a racial entitlement. Completely wrong. According to Justice Scalia, this is the continuation of racial entitlement. So he thought that when this was put into place in the first place, that it was wrong back then. What is he saying? What are these guys saying? Kayla? What are they saying? What I are they I doing? I don't even know. The people's rights are, be are being taken away. Now, how this whole thing came up is Alabama is actually suing the federal government to, uh, to get rid of Section 5 of the, uh, the Voting Rights Act, and, and the Supreme Court has agreed to hear it. And, you know, of course, all the Republicans in the Supreme Court think that, oh, yes, this, uh, this section, Section 5, is outdated. No, racism doesn't exist anymore. Now, everyone knows racism still exists. I mean, yes, it does. especially in these places highlighted on, on the map they give. Let me, let me read a couple of these places. <coughs> um, these are uh, jurisdictions which need to be pre-cleared before changing their voting code. Um, let's talk about uh, Mississippi, which is known for their uh, racism. Uh, Texas, obviously Alabama. Uh, Arizona, Georgia, Louisiana, South Carolina, Virginia. Where, wait, where, uh, wait, those are racist states? These are the states that need to get pre-cleared before they want to change their voting code. When, when I say pre-cleared, they just need to get permission from a higher source. You get it? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if they want to change something in their voting code, they first have to go and ask. In, and they need to get pre clear they need to get permission that says, okay, you're allowed to do that. Because they have been known to uh, discriminate based on, 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 on race when it comes to voting. Okay. So, right. Now, <coughs> back in 2006, uh, this, this section, the Voting Rights uh, Code, was extended 25 more years under George Bush. You know who George Bush is, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, the Voting Rights Act was extended 25 more years under George Bush. And you ready for this? It passed the Senate 98 votes to zero. Was that bad? No, that means everyone voted. Oh. Zero. Z no one voted against it. Right? Good. That's good, right? That's good. Well, apparently now, <coughs> Justice Scalia one of the head justices from the Supreme Court, said that, well, their motives might have been tarnished. All 98 of them. Doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too good to me. I don't know about you, but I get kind of scared when, when my Supreme Court wants to take away uh, citizens' rights. What do you think? That's not you, you know about the Supreme Court. It's pretty big. I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, it's... It, <laughs> it's the highest court in America. Mm -hmm. Now, when they want to get rid of something that says everyone has the right to vote no matter what color you are, that makes you kind of nervous, doesn't it? Yeah, it Almost does. like we're going backwards. Like if I can't vote when I turn 18 because I'm Spanish? Right. I don't want that. You don't you, want do you plan to vote, Kayla? Uh, 
Of when you she turn does. 18? Of course I do. Of course yeah. she does. All right. Do you think voting is important? Of course. Okay, why? <clears throat> um, well... <laughs> She knows because she, she wants to get her voice heard. Uh, and then that's what yeah, it does. Yeah. You know? you know, the only way for you, one of the only ways to get your voice heard is to vote. You know that, right, Kayla? You agree with that. I think <laughs> we all can agree with that. Okay, but yeah. Uh, well, it does look like a step backwards. I hope it doesn't go through, but, you know, we'll see. Here's the problem. And, and, and uh, let's, let's talk about the Supreme <laughs> Court now. The Supreme Court is made up of, I, I believe, nine members, which is an odd number. Five of those members are Republican. Four of them are not. Like everything under a democratic society, you need a majority, majority vote, majority rule. Now, of late, the Republican mindset has been, well, we don't really... Uh, you know, civil rights, it's not important. It's outdated. So it doesn't look too good. I have a feeling uh, five are going to vote against Section 5, and four, the Democrats, are going to Is that to the uh, configuration of the, uh, yes. uh, the Supreme Court? Five, five they probably will go by party lines. Five, five, five and four, and that means it's... Uh, Going backwards. No, We're going yeah. backwards. So now, uh, what yeah. what is this a, a response to? I don't know. It could be an out, uh, an, a response to this this past election and the turn the the black and the minority turnout. Uh, this could be to prevent that uh, future elections. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me. And I think if any with anyone with a set of a moral uh, moral codes. It doesn't make much sense to them either. Uh, we're talking about uh, someone's... Yeah. Michael, uh, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. If you ever look at the map, the regional map of the United States, and see by just land area, over 80% of the land area, the people in land a area voted for Republicans. It's just the cities that voted Democratic. But the land area is mostly Republican. Right. So uh, I guess the Republicans feel that if they make it more difficult for minorities and city people to vote, they have a better chance of winning. No, and that's exactly right. right. I think what they're trying to do is suppress the vote when it comes down to it. I'll tell you what. They are not happy that, first of all, they lost. They're, they, to be very honest... They're kind of teed off that they lost. And number two, I don't think they're happy they have a black man in the White House. They don't. They're, they're not very happy they're about not, that, are they? are not happy at all. You know, you don't see this, <clears throat> this upfront racism. But what you do see is, uh, is the partisan gridlock for no, for no good reason other than it's Barack Obama. You know... When Barack Obama was elected back in 2008, it was said that no matter what he, he brings to the table, Republicans will do as much as they can to prevent this man from getting reelected. No reason behind it whatsoever. So I can't help but think that maybe they don't want a black man in the White House. You know what? Call me crazy. I think we have evidence of it all around us, all around us. When it comes to this, when it comes to the most basic human rights, the most basic American rights, the right to vote, you know, no matter what color you are, we, the, the right which is reinforced in the Constitution and which, again, is reinforced in Section 5. When we get rid of that, what sense are we making? We're just stepping backwards. Right, Kayla? Yep. What do you think? <clears throat> I think we're stepping backwards. It's pretty bad, right? It's terrible. But people, people aren't really aware of it because it's happening so high up. They don't nope. think it'll affect them. They don't know. They don't think it'll affect them. This will affect people. It you know? Will. Uh, voter intimidation. Yep. I don't know if uh, a lot of... It doesn't happen 
much uh, in a democratic state like Jersey. But if you go to these states, you know, like Alabama, Mississippi, these kind of states, voter intimidation is all around. When you go to vote, you know, some, uh, God forbid, a black woman goes to vote, and say some, some guy is standing out there just trying to prevent her from casting her vote, just based on uh, racial slurs, things like that. And this is what's going to... Uh, this is what's going to happen. We are going to start moving backwards. That's terrible. You know? This I- and what it, what it really... What I was thinking, it's a slap in the face to all those civil rights uh, activists. To, all, to, to the whole civil rights movement. It's a slap in the face. This is what they worked for. Equality. And the only way that's achievable... And, and one of the only ways that's achievable in this country is the right to vote, no matter what color you are, no matter what sex you are. And this will be taking that away when it, when it comes to, to race. So honestly, I think it's a slap in the face to what the whole civil rights movement stands for yep. and stood for. I agree. It can't happen. So this is what this is what I'm going to tell everyone to do. All right, and and it's not much, but you know what? Today, social media is one of and uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I'll tell you what: it's one of the greatest outlets you have to talk to these these higher ups, these politicians. I want you, you know, to tweet your senators, your <laughs> congressmen. No, uh, I want you to to tweet, uh, you know. See if, see if some of these justices have Twitters. Tweet them. Tweet them. Just do it. <laughs> you know what? Get, get that voice out there, even if it's not their real Twitters. My voice will be heard. Right. Other Twitter. people are seeing it. Spread the word. Because if people, you know, l- like me, I- I'm trying to call people. I'm trying to spread this word. A lot of people complain about it a lot, but you, you, they don't do much. You've got to spread the word. You can't let this happen. Mm-mm. We've come too far. Mm-hmm. We're not going back. Not going back. That's right. And that'll do it for today's show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to For Real Radio, A Place for the Truth. Have a great day. You just listened to For Real Radio on whitradio.org. At Hudson County Schools of Technology. Northburg in New Jersey. Have a great day.